Yesterday we thought about the events of Jesus going into the temple, turning over the tables, seeing how people were using God's house wrongly. Today, we think as things start to turn, how people respond to Jesus. There were those who followed him closely, his 12 disciples, and yet one of them would betray him. One of the people who walked this earth with Jesus, who was so close to him, one of his closest followers would betray him. And not only that, Jesus would wash the feet of the disciples and also the one who would betray him. It was a normal thing to happen. When a guest came round to your house for food in those days, you'd provide a servant to wash their feet. And yet Jesus would take on the role of the servant, washing the feet of the disciples, even the one who would betray him. Let us hear those readings now about the plans in this man's head to betray Jesus and also the washing of the disciples' feet. Six days before the festival of Passover, Jesus and his disciples went to stay with some friends. While they sat around the table to eat, a woman opened a jar of expensive perfumed oil. Then the woman began to rub the oil on Jesus' head. You could have sold that and given the money to the poor, snapped Judas. One of the disciples said, leave her alone. And Jesus said, she is being very kind. Judas felt angry with Jesus and this soon turned him bitter and evil. He knew that the chief priests didn't like Jesus and he decided to help them get rid of him. So two days before Passover, Judas met with the priests and agreed to lead them to Jesus when he was alone. I will kiss Jesus to show the guards who to arrest, he told the priests. In return, the priests promised to pay Judas 30 pieces of silver. However, Jesus knew that the priests were plotting against him. He also knew that it was all part of God's plan and that he would soon leave the world to join the Father in heaven. But he still felt sad when he thought about what was going to happen. The evening before Passover, Jesus took some water, kneeled in front of each of his 12 disciples in turn. He gently washed their feet and dried them in a towel. Lord, you should not wash your feet, said the disciples. You are too important. No one is more important than anyone else, said Jesus. Even though I am your teacher, we are all equal because we are all God's children. Judas ultimately would betray Jesus. In fact, we read in the Psalms, we can read that one who shared my bread has turned against me. But Judas, now in the grip of darkness, was already planning to betray Jesus. As he washed the disciples' feet, Jesus knew this, and yet he still washed the feet of Judas. One of the other disciples, Peter, he misunderstood completely. He didn't want Jesus to wash his feet, and yet Jesus says, unless I wash your feet, you have no part of me. And Peter then says, wash all of me. He still didn't understand. Many of the disciples didn't. But there were great things happening, dramatic things happening. The disciples were unaware that this was God's plan unfolding. This was his great rescue plan for his people. 